5.30. We <clears throat> got home about 45 minutes ago and everything is unpacked. The house is a little bit of a disaster, but everything is unpacked and a little laundry is on. And I must eat something now. to you from my spot on the couch in Florida. It is 7.57 p.m. and please believe me when I say I will be in bed very shortly. <laughs> I'm just wrapping up this vlog and I might check and see if the laundry is dry before I go to bed and see if I can fold some of the stuff that matters if it's wrinkled. But other than that, I'm not doing anything. And if you hear crazy noises in the background, the dishwasher is running because I cannot be bothered to wash a dish to me. I have been sitting here working on, let's turn it the other way. This is the right side. My crochet memories blanket. I put on three squares today. This is the one I'm currently working on. It's almost done. Got like four rows left maybe. I also put on this square. Wow. Good Lord. Strings attached everywhere. I need to weave in some of these ends. I put on this square right here and this square. No, this one. This one, this one, and the one I just showed you. My goal was to get three squares done today, but three and two thirds squares is pretty good. Especially because I did get a little bit of crochet time on my Alina shawl as well. The ride back was pretty good. Nova was fairly cranky this morning, but she did actually nap in the car for longer than 45 minutes. And then we were saved by watching Lilo and Stitch the rest of the way home. She was put in bed in her crib an hour ago. She is still awake. So I don't know if she's just hyped <laughs> from the day or what. But it does not bode well for tomorrow, that she's still awake at 8 p.m. Actually, she was put in bed at like 6.45 because she looked exhausted. Maybe I should have put her in bed before that. Maybe I kept her up too late. I just don't know. She doesn't sleep very well when we're not here, which makes sense because neither do we, right? Adults don't sleep very well when we're not in our own beds either. But she has had four days in a row of either being in a car and not napping well or staying up too late and not sleeping well, we're skipping a nap entirely like yesterday. <laughs> so I hope, I hope she goes to sleep. She's not crying, she's just sitting there in the corner of her crib. Earlier she was standing and like pacing. Okay, 
and she's not crying, so I'm going to go to bed and leave her to her own devices. I am extremely proud of her. She did so good on this trip, and it was so good to see family. It honestly felt normal. Like, I feel like this is the first normal thing we've done since COVID, since having a baby. It just felt like so, not easy necessarily, because traveling with a kid is never easy, but and driving eight hours both ways is not easy, even for adults. But it just felt normal. Like something we would do years ago. And it felt great. And it felt good to see family and be Christmassy. And I don't know. It was really, really nice. I'm so glad we went. I'm so thankful we were able to go. And now it's Christmas week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I, it feels like a Sunday night to me. Like the week is starting tomorrow, but tomorrow's Tuesday. And I don't have anything on the docket except for tomorrow night I have a work meeting that I'm gonna have to check in on because I did not text them. I always text people like a day advance and be like, oh, is this still happening? <laughs> so gotta check on that, make sure that's happening. Wednesday I have some work meetings and also a wedding to officiate and then a work meeting at night. And then Thursday, there's nothing scheduled. And Saturday is Christmas Eve. I can't believe it's Christmas Eve already. We're done. We're done with all the, whoa! I almost dropped the phone. We're done with all the Christmas shopping except for one present that I need to buy something else because we had bought something for friends who were having a baby and they are no longer having a baby. So that would not be an appropriate gift on any planet. So we must get something else for them. But that will happen. I feel like I had something else to say and now it's gone. <laughs> my brain is so tired. I am so tired. My body is tired. My body hurts. I'm like old enough to where it hurts to like travel in a car for long periods of time. Like my hip hurts and my shoulder hurts and I'm sure Josiah feels the same way. The bed was pretty comfy that we slept on, but it was small. Small, as Nova would say. So yeah. I didn't get a ton of crochet done. I think maybe a total of six squares on the crochet memories blanket and about 10 rows on the Alina shawl. But that's okay. <laughs> it was It was really, really great. It was really great to be there, and I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled that we got to go. And tomorrow we'll resume normal Christmas <laughs> operations. So the vlog should be longer than like four and a half minutes. Well, I guess it'll be longer than four and a half minutes because I have been talking for five and a half minutes. <laughs> Can we have been talking that long already? So I guess this vlog will look like it has lots and lots of things of substance in it. But really, it's just me in my pajamas talking to you right before bed. So, I hope you got some crochet time today. I hope your Monday was wonderful. And I will see you in the morning.